Now, your Weather Authority local forecast. Good morning and welcome back to Sunrise. It's a gorgeous start out there. Let's take a look on our RV World Yuma Skycam. We're seeing plenty of blue skies this morning and seeing lots of sunshine already as usual. But our temperatures are starting to warm up, so I'm tracking even hotter afternoon for today and the rest of the week. But let's just look at our current temperatures as of right now as we are starting to warm up as we speak. So we're looking at those low and mid 80s already in most areas and a few upper upper 70s, but starting to really warm up and we can only expect those hot temperatures again for today and even hotter than what we experienced so far this week. And it's only going to continue to heat up and we do have an excessive heat warning and that'll include everyone here that's in this hot pink color. So that will include Yuma and Imperial counties and we are just going to have those temperatures be pretty hot and hotter than usual. So we are going to have those temperatures reach um, 110 to 115 degrees over the next few days and it's just going to continue to be pretty hot out there. So make sure you're taking those precautions because this um, heat, excessive heat warning will go in place at 10 a.m this morning and will carry through Sunday at 8 p.m. So it's no doubt it's going to be a hot, hot rest of the week. And here's a look on our forecast today on what we can expect with our temperatures. So we're just going to see them quickly climb and rise over triple digits and we'll see a little bit of clouds for today, but still staying nice and dry and see some sunshine as well, even though we'll have those clouds in our sky, but still see mostly clear skies. Now, of course, with our hot temperatures that we are going to continue to feel over the next few days and the rest of the week, make sure you're taking the proper heat precautions, like drinking plenty of water. That's really important. And of course, check on your elderly, your kids and your pets. Your pets need a uh, shade and water as well. And never, ever leave any people or kids or pets in a closed car at any time of the day because that car really will heat up pretty quickly as well as our temperatures for our afternoon as well. And going into our later tonight and evening hours, it's still going to be pretty warm, but thankfully we will drop in the double digits and have a little bit of relief there. But again, our afternoons are going to be extremely hot and then our evenings are going to continue to just be pretty warm as well. So we're never really going to have a break because we're getting into that summer season. So we're going to continue to have these much excessive heat temperatures and looking ahead for tomorrow even hotter. So look at that. We're at 112 for Yuma, 111 for Welton, 111 also for Imperial and 112 for El Centro. So the heat is not going to stop for the rest of the week. So definitely keep preparing and being aware of that as well. So here's a look at our um, hot temperatures that we're going to experience. That ridge of high pressure is just going to continue to strengthen over the next few days, bringing us those hotter conditions. Now our air quality index presented by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District still looking pretty good. No changes from the top of the hour. Our main focus this week is going to be those hot temperatures. So here's a look on our eight day forecast sponsored by polar cooling. Just look at those temperatures continuing to rise in Saturday and Sunday expected to be the hottest temperatures of the year and week so far. And Imperial Valley is on the same boat with those hot temperatures and some wind possibly on Sunday as well. Back to you, April and Cole.